Hey folks, today we are gonna move 40 yards, 60 tons, or 120,000 pounds of gravel behind me here with this little guy here, the 1025R, the bucket on the front. We got a, a ton of ballast weight on the back. Well, not quite a ton, but it's a whole lot of weight on the back, probably more than we really need, but just kind of showing off the different setup on here. You can see the, the tires are squatting pretty good. Some of you picked up on that when we were using the stump bucket in a previous video too. Now I do have a lot of bigger equipment and we can knock this job out in two seconds flat just about with the skid steer spread this all out and, and probably literally 15 20 minutes i think it's going to take us a solid hour maybe longer than that to do this so let's get to work i don't want to waste a lot of time there could be some rain coming too see if we can get this spread down finish off our base layer on this turnaround and then start bringing in that 21 AA for our top coat i did forget though one important thing we've got our heavy hitch tooth bar on here and this is going to make a huge difference digging into these piles scooping up dirt i'm telling you if you don't have one just read the forums online everybody says the same thing these things are awesome you don't have to drill at all so if you don't have holes already in your bucket you don't have to worry about that there's clamp points seven of them right on here it could be more potentially if you have a wider bucket uh, but you go to heavy hitch you're going to use code gwt save five percent off of your order you can get the tooth bar buckets you can get all sorts of tractor accessories on their website they'll ship it right to you but a common question is don't these things just slide off and pull off and i have never had one loosen up you can clamp these down just as tight as you need to it's it's really cool it's a really sweet concept a really sweet design so i love it i think it's great i'm not alone in that so if you have one leave a comment down below and don't forget use code gwt to save five percent as always we're sponsored by bora wheel spacers they are made in america have a lifetime warranty if your tractor feels tippy side to side especially if you have a cab on it then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference get more information on them at the link down below
Well, folks, that was a good time. Uh, went a lot better than I thought. It took about an hour and 15 minutes. And it's just very rough grade. We're gonna come back through with the land plane. The area that's next to it, the rest of the driveway is the same exact material, all right? But we put that down last fall, late summer throughout the fall, we did a couple different layers of it. So this is the same exact stuff. It just has to kind of settle in. Um, compacted really well where we drove over it here. I may bring in an actual compactor and keep it for this run and then keep it for the, the final run that we do as well. But I'm gonna do my final grade with a land plane. Um, it actually works really well with a skid steer bucket, but I'm not having quite as much luck with the tractor bucket on here. I think a land plane on the back is gonna just smooth this out exactly how I want it to be. And then at that point, it's gonna be just a matter of, of rolling it in, driving over it a lot. You know, you have to periodically grade this stuff out too if it gets rutted and everything else. We're having some drainage, water runoff issues kind of on the hill that's just up, up the road here a little ways. I have to do some repair work up there too. But I'll tell you what, I actually, needed and appreciated every ounce of weight that I had on the backside. You could, hopefully you could tell, but I was maxing this loader out. It's probably the hardest I've ever worked this tractor and that bucket, it wouldn't curl anymore. It wouldn't raise anymore. I was raising it just enough to be able to, to curl and roll it and dump everything out with those extra teeth on there too and just barely get above the surface. So I was working this thing hard. Now we made a recent video, use versus abuse. Well, I'm gonna say that this was hard use, all right? There was a lot of straining going on with the engine. Um, but you want to try to make life easier on you. So you saw a lot of um, times I was scraping from the top, kind of breaking up the pile instead of digging down in the bottom. So get your bucket up high, kind of roll that material back down. Takes a little bit longer, I understand that, but it's going to be easier on your tractor. You're going to have a better chance to fill your bucket up, um, dig in easier as well. So there's a lot of benefits of doing so. And the other thing that worked really good in this application, since we were spreading the gravel all around where the, the uh, gravel was dropped, was we were kind of picking off and chipping away at the corners. There were certain areas uh, a ways away where it was better just to take a bucket over there. But after we got that section done, I just kind of chunked it off bit by bit on each corner over here, over here, knocked a little bit more down and repeated the process. And that saved a ton of time versus actually just using the bucket to scoop and go and drop it somewhere else. So if that kind of scenario works for you, Keep that in your back pocket because it could save you a whole bunch of time. So really overall, everything went pretty darn good today. Tooth bar worked great, ballast weight worked great. We did have the loader joystick, like the first half of <laughs> the pile, the loader joystick uh, was just really loose and wiggly. It was like rotating on me and just annoying the heck out of me. But I was trying to get things done, but after one phone call interrupted us, I got out the wrench, tightened the nut down on the joystick to tighten that back up. And that was about the only hiccup we had. So don't forget, you can save 5% with code GWT at Heavy Hitch on that tooth bar if you want to. We have a whole discount club that we call it where you can save at least 5% off of uh, different uh, attachments or accessories at different vendors that we partner with. So check that out on the website. Lots of stuff that we can sell and ship you as well. So check out goodworkstractors.com. So if you did enjoy today's video, if you have projects of your own or maybe you bought a new property, well, we've done the same thing, right? So that's what we're showing out here. Different tractors, different sizes, different attachments, all that kind of stuff what goes right, what goes wrong. So hit that subscribe button right down below to follow along. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.